Know what time it is? It's time for a Caillou story. Well now, let's see what Caillou did today. I think he met some animals. Today's story is called Caillou Goes to the Zoo. Hi, welcome to the zoo. My name's Zoe. Are we going to see lots of animals? Oh, yes. And we're very excited because lots of our animal families have new babies. Would you like to see some baby wolves? Baby wolves? Really? Wow. See the baby wolves? Those are their noses. Why don't they come out? I want to see them. They were just born the other day, so they want to stay with their mommy. Oh, I wanted to see them. You know, Caillou, they'll stay with their families all their lives. Do all the baby animals stay with their mommies and daddies? Oh, no. Most animals leave their families when they're big enough. Would you like to see another animal family? Yes, please. Caillou liked the idea of animals having families. Where are they? Where are they? They must be in their house, Caillou. I'm afraid we might not see them today. Although... I think we might be lucky after all. Wow! He's so big! The rhino's as big as a dinosaur! Rhino Dino! Rhino Dino! You know what, Caillou? That rhino's not a he. She is a she. And she has a baby. Really? A baby rhino? Of course, Caillou. Even really big animals have babies. Look! Look! It's the baby rhino! He's not very cuddly, but I think he's cute as a button. Yay! A sea otter! It's a sea otter! They're my favorite! That little guy came to us when he was just a baby, Caillou. Does he have a family, too? I'm afraid not. You see, his mommy died. His mommy died? Will he be all right? He'll be fine. But you know, because he didn't have his mommy to show him what to do, we've had to teach him everything. <laughs> Even how to swim and how to feed himself. It was the first time Caillou had seen a real sea otter. <laughs> I wish we could take him home with us. Oh, you can't do that. He's almost ready to go back to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? That chimpanzee looks like Grandpa. <laughs> You're right. He does look like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That little guy looks a bit like you, Caillou. He's coming to say hello. Everyone's gone home. It's birthday story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do on his birthday? Today's story is called Caillou's Birthday Present. It was Caillou's birthday and his mommy was making his birthday cake. I don't suppose you want to help me clean the bowl, do you? Yes, please, mommy. <laughs> I thought you might. Come on, Caillou. You really should let Rosie have a little of that frosting. Daddy! I thought you said Caillou should let Rosie have some frosting. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Daddy! Caillou had told everyone he wanted a special dinosaur as a birthday present. But Grandma's gift wasn't a dinosaur. It was a sweater. Do you like it, Caillou? Of course he does. Oh, my. They're here already. Yay! Leo, Clementine! Come on in, you two. Now, just hold still a little longer, Caillou. I've almost finished. <laughs> it feels funny, Daddy.
Day. Are you going to blow out the candles, Caillou? Make a wish, Caillou. You're supposed to make a wish. He knew just what to wish for. He wanted a special dinosaur. Caillou was so full, he just couldn't eat any more birthday cake. Happy birthday, Caillou. Just a little while later, everyone found room for some ice cream sundae. Rosie, look what you did. <laughs> Here's a clean sweater, dear. Wow! It's another special dinosaur. Caillou certainly had his special dinosaur now. In fact, he had two special dinosaurs. Oh, wow! This is my best birthday. Hi, you two. It's story time. Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Big Friend. Caillou, this is Andre. His mommy and I have been friends since we were little. Caillou didn't think Andre was little at all. In fact, Andre seemed very big. You're already a big boy, Andre. How old are you? I'm six. Now, why don't you play with Andre while we talk? Come on, let's build a castle. Do you have any games we could play? I know. Let's play catch. Not inside. Catch. Uh you broke my castle. No, I didn't. You knocked it over. You're not allowed to play ball in the house. Well, let's play something else then. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll go hide. Okay, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Here I come. Caillou, where are you? Where are you? Caillou couldn't resist that barefoot. He had to tickle it. Yeah! Oops, I found you! That's not fair. I tripped. Yes, it is fair. Well, you're it, Caillou. Let's play something else. Well, okay. Do you have any toys in your room? Andre was upsetting Caillou. Wait for me. I'll get my robot. Are you hurt? He broke my special chair. He's not my friend anymore. <laughs> Andre, I'm so sorry. Let me get a little bandage for that cut. It's okay. <laughs> Caillou was very angry with Andre. But when he saw the cut, he felt sorry for him. Is Andre hurt, Mommy? I'm sure he's going to be all right, honey. I didn't mean to break Caillou's chair. It was an accident. Why don't you two play soccer outside for a little while? But the soccer ball is stuck in the tree. I can reach it. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Caillou was having fun playing with Andre now. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Look, the ball went in the tree again. <laughs> Where are you hiding? It's story time. 
There you are. <laughs> now, let's see what Caillou did today. It's a story called Caillou Looks for Gilbert. Ready, Gilbert! Help, Gilbert, help! Ah. Yay, Gilbert! Help, Gilbert! The dinosaur's after me! Caillou loved to play dinosaur hunter. It was even more fun when Gilbert joined in. Snack time! Gilbert, you stay here. Hi, Caillou. What have you been getting up to? I was playing with Gilbert. I saved him from the bad dinosaur. Did you? You must be very brave to go dinosaur hunting. Was upset. He told Gilbert to stay, but <laughs> Gilbert hadn't listened to him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone. He didn't wait for me. Well, he's not in here. And he's not in the living room. Where is he? I need Gilbert for my game. Gilbert, come here right now! <laughs> Gilbert, you're a bad cat. Caillou was starting to feel very mad at Gilbert. Where could he be hiding? <laughs> oh, what's going on, Caillou? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me in the living room. He's probably sleeping in one of the bedrooms. Let's go and look. We'll be like detectives. Detectives? Hmm. Well, if we're detectives, we'd better look for clues. What are clues? A clue could be anything that helps us find Gilbert, so keep your eyes wide open. Is this a clue, Mommy? Caillou had found the string from the dinosaur he and Gilbert had been playing with. That meant Gilbert must be nearby. That's a very good clue. I think there's only one room we haven't looked in. My room! Gilbert, come out! Gilbert? Look, Mommy, the dinosaur! Another clue! Well, you are a good detective. Come on, kids, it's time for another Caillou story. Now, let's see what Caillou's up to. Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Grows Carrots. Caillou? Caillou, why don't you go out to the backyard? Somebody's waiting for you. Caillou was very curious to know who it could be. Hey! What are you doing? I'm making a vegetable patch for your mommy. Would you like to help me? Yeah! Just wait and see, Caillou. We're gonna grow all sorts of vegetables. Caillou didn't really like vegetables, but he liked the idea of making a vegetable patch. I'm giving you a special mission. Would you like to grow the carrots? Yeah, okay. Here are the seeds for your carrots. Where are the carrots? Well, you have to plant the seeds in the ground and give them lots and lots of water. Then they'll grow into carrots. Caillou's grandpa marked out a square in the vegetable patch where Caillou could plant his seeds exactly like grandpa showed him. Yay! There aren't any carrots. Oh, you have to be patient. It might take all summer for the carrots to grow. All summer? 
I finished my carrot. Good. Now I'll glue the ice cream stick to the cardboard. With his sign in the ground, Caillou wouldn't forget where his carrots were growing. Caillou went to the vegetable patch every day to see how his carrots were coming along. <laughs> and after a few weeks... Carrot leaves? No! My carrots! Shoo! Shoo! Caillou was wondering if his carrots would ever come out. It was taking too much time. But a few weeks later... Hello, Caillou. I just went by the vegetable patch. And you know what? I think your carrots are ready now. Really? My carrots? I want to see them. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Ugh, leaves again. No carrots, just leaves. Oh, don't be so sure. Just grab some leaves and pull. <laughs> You'll see. Enjoy your meal, everyone. I grew the carrots by myself. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Caillou. And look at Rosie. She seems to like your carrots a lot. Although Caillou still didn't like vegetables, he thought his carrots tasted pretty good. Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Wow, look at Caillou. He looks scared. Can you guess why? This story's called Caillou's Big Slide. Caillou was having a wonderful time at the playground. Watch me, watch me! <laughs> choo, choo, choo! I'm a train, Daddy. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. I'm playing choo-choo. Can I play too? Clementine and Caillou were having fun playing choo-choo train when Clementine had an idea. Want to play slide? Yes. No, not that one. That one. Clementine was pointing at the slide the big kids play on. But when Caillou got to the slide, Yay! it seemed very big and very, very high. It's too high. Caillou was frightened. I want to play here first. <laughs> so Caillou convinced Clementine to play in the tubes instead. <laughs> Catch me, Caillou! Here I come! Got you! Hmm. It's getting late, Caillou. We'll have to leave soon. Caillou was very scared. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy! Caillou's crying. He's scared. I'm not scared. It's easy. What's the matter, Caillou? <laughs> hmm. Well, it is a big, scary slide. It does look like fun, though. I know what we could do. Why don't you slide down with me? Uh, uh oh. One, two, three. Go! Whee! Caillou was thrilled, but Clementine wasn't impressed. I went by myself. Hmm. Yay! I went all by myself. It's easy. Well, it's time to go home, Caillou. I'll be right back. Whee! One more time, Dad. But as it turned out, it wasn't just one more time after all. <laughs> you 
must be tired after your big game. Come sit next to me. It's story time. Just look at that. Caillou's playing soccer. Today's story is called Caillou's Big Kick. Caillou was very excited because his friend Andre was coming to play soccer with him. Caillou, what's all that noise? What are you doing? Caillou, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Andre's coming. I know. We are going to play soccer. Andre's the best soccer player. I know he is, sweetie, but you're not supposed to play soccer in the house, are you? No, Mommy. Caillou decided to practice before Andre arrived. <gasps> Caillou, look who's here! Good player. My turn. Caillou wanted to be a soccer player just like Andre. I don't like this game. Remember the time you learned to skate? Yes. Well, you had to practice a lot before you got good at it, didn't you? Here, try again. Caillou felt bad. He wanted to show Andre how good he was at soccer. But somehow, he just couldn't kick the ball. I don't want to play anymore! Come on, Caillou. You can do it. I can't. It's too hard. Just one more time. Hmm. Caillou! Caillou agreed to give it one more try. Caillou, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Rosie. We've come to play too. Go, Caillou! Yay! Hooray! Now that he'd kicked the ball, Caillou felt like a real soccer player. Grandma, read us a story. Ah, a story about Caillou. Just look what he's doing. Today's story is called Caillou Plays Baby. All morning, Caillou and Rosie had been busy. Very busy. Oh, no! How could you two make such a mess? Hmm. Really? How about a little cleanup before lunch, Caillou? <laughs> Caillou, help me clean up, please. But Rosie isn't cleaning up. All right. Let's try. Rosie, it's cleanup time. See? The toys go in here. That's right, sweetie. Now go get some toys. Caillou, Rosie is still too little to understand about cleaning up. I'll do her share until she's bigger. Mm. Caillou, you're old enough to do your own cleaning up. Caillou did not think that Mommy was being fair. He was very angry. I want 
want my milk in a training cup, too. All right. And I want my sandwich in little pieces, like Rosie. Hmm. Me too, Mommy. A bib for you? Caillou. I like being a baby. Caillou thought that being a baby was much better than being four. I don't mind if you want to play baby, Caillou, but please don't be such a messy baby. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie had lots of fun playing baby after lunch. A nap? Yes, it's nap time for my two little babies. Get into bed, Caillou, and I'll come tuck you in. Caillou didn't really want to have a nap. But if he was going to be a baby like Rosie, he had to. Have a nice nap, Caillou. <sighs> What's going on, Caillou? I don't want to have a nap. That's what all babies do in the afternoon. I don't want to be a baby. I want to be full again. Good. How about a game of Animal Snap? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're four again, Caillou. I win! <laughs> well, hello there. It looks like it's only going to be the two of us for story time. Surprise! Oh! I'm not going to be alone after all. Today's story is called Caillou Gets Sick. Caillou wasn't feeling good that morning. His forehead was very warm. I think you have a little fever. I'll bring you something to make it better. You'd better rest. After a while, Caillou mm. thought it wasn't much fun to stay in bed. Uh. Caillou, go back to bed. I don't want to be in bed. Here, this will make you feel better. The next day, something strange happened. Mommy! Hi, are you feeling better? Look! Hmm, that looks like chicken pox. Chicken pox? And I'm afraid that means you'll have to go back to bed. And you mustn't scratch yourself. Why? Because it'll make those spots worse, sweetie. No scratching, Caillou. Your bath is ready. You won't be sick very long. You'll see. The hardest part for Caillou was to remember not to scratch the itchy spots. scratching again? A little bit. What's that? A little something. Here, let me see your dinosaur a minute. He looks like me! I want to do it! When Caillou and his mommy were done covering the dinosaur with dots, he looked just <laughs> like he had the chicken pox too. <laughs> Caillou didn't like being stuck inside the house. He wanted to be outside playing with Rosie. Mommy, lots of spots are gone. Can I go out and play? Not yet, sweetie. Are you ready for your bath? Okay. Can my dinosaur take a bath with me? He can watch, but he can't come in the water with you. Caillou thought the spots would never disappear. But one morning, they were almost gone. Arr! Hello, Caillou. <laughs> Hey, your dinosaurs lost a lot of spots. Like me! Really? Show me! Bye! Caillou went to tell Rosie that at last he could play with her in the garden. Hi, Rosie! Look, my spots are all gone! Oh! Mommy! What is it? Rosie has the chicken pox! You're right! You'll take lots of baths and you'll lose all your spots. Like my dinosaur. Yay! 
Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Come on in, kids. I have a special treat for you. It's a story called Caillou Loves Halloween. Just look. Well, yes it is. Let's get you and Rosie ready, shall we? Yay! Well, Mr. Spaceman, are you ready for liftoff? Almost, Daddy. All systems go. Yay! Here's your clown costume, Rosie. Just like you wanted. Rosie had asked for a clown costume, but when she saw it, it reminded her of how she used to be scared of clowns. Ah! Uh, I don't want it. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? Really? Mm. Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie didn't want to go trick-or-treating. Why doesn't Rosie want to go? Rosie is scared because she's still too little for Halloween. Well, if you really don't want to, I guess we'll just stay home. Hold still, Caillou. Bye-bye, Mommy. Mom stayed home to look after Rosie, so Caillou could go out trick-or-treating with his daddy. Bye-bye. Go ahead, Caillou. What are you waiting for? Um... It's okay. You haven't forgotten what to say, have you? Well, this is a surprise. It's not every day an astronaut comes to my house. Go on, Caillou. You know what to say. Trick or treat, Mr. Hinkle. Trick or treat. Wow! Thank you! Rosie was too scared to come trick or treating, Mr. Hinkle. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Caillou! I'm a scary monster! And I'm a spaceman! <laughs> Leo's a monster! And Clementine's a nurse! Look at all my treats! Wow! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine all went trick or treating together. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! And they collected lots of treats before it was time to go home. Halloween was almost over, but there was still one more bell to ring. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Who's this standing on the doorstep? It looks like an astronaut and his friends. It's me! Well, if you want a treat, you'd better come in. I like Halloween. I love Halloween. Poor Caillou. He really got himself into trouble this time. Just look. I wonder what's going on. Let's find out. Today's story is called Caillou and the Doll. It all started when Caillou's mommy was putting on her makeup getting ready to go out. Caillou liked all the different colors of the makeup. They looked like a paint box. What are you doing, Mommy? Putting on makeup. Why? To look pretty when I go out. Caillou thought his mommy looked very pretty. Hmm. Don't play with that, please. <laughs> Julie will be here soon, Caillou. Why don't you go downstairs and wait for her? Rosie. Why don't you go and play by yourself for a bit while I get Rosie ready for her nap? Okay. Bye-bye. How about a story? Seeing his mommy's makeup gave Caillou an idea for a game. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Caillou knew he'd spoiled Rosie's doll, and he was afraid Julie would be mad at him. Oh, there you are. Caillou, what have you been doing? Julie! Julie! <laughs> oh, dear. Rosie's woken up. <laughs> Caillou, have you seen Rosie's doll anywhere? No. Are you sure? She says she left it in the bathroom. Wait a minute. What's that? Stand up a second, Caillou. Caillou! <laughs> what happened to the doll? You're mad at me, and Mommy's going to be mad at me, too. Oh, dear. Something tells me you've been having a busy afternoon. Mommy! Let's see if we can sort it all out, shall we? Caillou explained how he'd spoiled the doll and how he'd been afraid everyone would be mad at him. I wanted the doll to be pretty like you, Mommy, but everything went wrong. Mm. Um. Well, Caillou, Rosie still thinks her doll's pretty. I'm sorry, Mommy. I know you are, honey. Story time, kids. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way I could fit right between you two so we could all see the book. What's the story about, Grandma? It looks like a new adventure for Caillou. It's called Caillou Goes to Work. Caillou was excited. He was going to go to work with his mommy. The first thing we have to do is go through the revolving door. I can do it. Watch me. All right, go ahead. But don't forget to get out on the other side. Mommy? Oh, dear. Keep on pushing, Caillou. I want to do it again. Caillou had never seen anything like this before. There were funny noises around, and lots of people he had never met before. Caillou? You must be Caillou. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the office. Caillou is here to work. Wow! Here you go, your very own desk for the day. And what would you like to do? I want to do work! Hmm. Caillou thought that working was writing on paper. I can work with that! I'm finished! Look, Mommy! That's great, Caillou. Uh, just a minute. Look, Mommy. This is you, this is Daddy, this is Rosie, and this is me. Take it. It's for you. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. You did a really good job. Can we play now? I can't just right now, Caillou. I have a bit of work to finish first. Maybe you could draw another picture. Hello, Teddy. Mommy's work takes a long time. Caillou, I'm not quite done with my work yet, but I have a surprise for you. Hello. Daddy? It's me, Caillou. I'm working with Mommy. I'm doing work. Teddy is with me. I love you, Daddy. Bye. What do you say we have some lunch? Caillou and his Mommy took out their lunch and had a great picnic with Teddy. Why don't we put up your drawing on my bulletin board? That way, everybody will see it. Yeah, I want to do it. Wow, it looks great. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Here you go. I'll see you later at home. See, that's the office where Mommy works. That's right. Caillou was really proud to show his daddy everything he knew about the office. I want to show you. Ah. The doors were very heavy, so Caillou's daddy decided to help. You really have to be strong to push these doors. I know. Caillou told his daddy all about his day at work. Are you two ready for an exciting ride? It's story time. So let's see what Caillou did today.
Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Goes to a Theme Park. Are we there yet, Daddy? Are we there yet, Daddy? Almost. Are we there yet? We're here. Caillou was very excited because this was the first time he'd ever been to a theme park and he wanted to go on the rides with his daddy. Wow! The first one he chose was called the Niagara Falls River Ride. Stand next to the board, Caillou. What is it? You can only go on the ride if you're tall enough. Yay! Do you like it? Yes, it's fun. <laughs> It's a bit scary, too, isn't it? Caillou and his daddy agreed that the river ride was fun and a bit scary. <laughs> Pretty soon, Caillou was having too much fun to be really scared. The water splashed us, Mommy. Who wants dessert? Well, I'm not sure cotton candy is really good for you. Does that mean you don't want one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Whee! Look, Daddy, we're very high up. Look! Caillou loved riding on the Ferris wheel. From all the way up here, he could see the whole theme park. <gasps> Daddy! Daddy! Look! It was the biggest teddy bear Caillou had ever seen. If they could throw all their hoops over a wooden block, maybe they could win the bear. It was a very difficult game for Caillou. It didn't go. It isn't as easy as it looks. Can you do it, Daddy? I'll try my best. Daddy! Way to go! Caillou really, really hoped his daddy could make the third hoop fall over the block. Did you enjoy yourself, Caillou? Oh, yes, Mommy. What was the best part? Was it the river ride? The Ferris wheel? I know. It was Daddy throwing the hoops and winning the bear, wasn't it? Yes! It's story time, kids. Now, I wonder what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou is a clown. Guess what, Rosie? We're going to a parade. 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 <coughs> We're going to see horses, drummers, and clowns. I love clowns. No clowns, no. <coughs> hey, Rosie. Caillou, I don't know about this. What's the matter, Mommy? I don't know if it's such a good idea to go to the parade. Why not, Mommy? I want to go to the parade. There'll be clowns, Caillou, and you know Rosie's really afraid of clowns. No, she isn't. Not anymore. I want to go. Caillou was miserable and angry. It wasn't fair. Why can't we go just because Rosie's a silly baby? Remember, Caillou, you used to be afraid of clowns, too, when you were little, like Rosie. Well, what are we going to do now? Then Caillou had an idea. See, Rosie? It's not scary. Oh, uh, Rosie, show me a doll. I know, Mommy. I'll cover her eyes when the clowns come by. Come on, Caillou, let's go up to your room. Why? I have an idea. Maybe we can go to the parade. But I need your help. 
Caillou just couldn't imagine what Mummy's idea could be. Let's see. These'll do. Let's show Rosie the clowns aren't scary because they're only people wearing clown clothes. Okay. Look, Rosie. Rosie, you're a clown. <laughs> Beep. So now Rosie wasn't scared of clowns anymore. Rosie, look. Okay, kids, I guess we can go to the parade now. Yay! <laughs> Hold still, Rosie. <laughs> Are my two clowns ready to go? Yes! Let's go! Come read us a story. A story about Caillou. I wonder what Caillou did today. This story is called Caillou and Gilbert. Look, Gilbert. This is a picture of a cat. I'm tired of coloring. I want to play with someone. Rosie. Caillou wanted to play with someone, but he knew he wasn't supposed to wake up Rosie when she was taking her nap. Caillou! Shh! You know better than that, Caillou. But I need someone to play with, Daddy. Sorry, Caillou. We can't play with you now. You can play with Rosie later. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to play with someone later. He wanted to play with someone right now. Do you want to play with me, Gilbert? <laughs> Caillou suddenly thought of another game they could play. I'll be right back. Caillou knew that Gilbert would not like a story about a doll. But he thought Gilbert would love a mouse story and a story with birds. Look, Gilbert. It's story time, Gilbert. This is a story about a mouse named Mousie. One day, Mousie, uh, Mousie had a friend named Meesey. And one day, Meesey and Mousie... Gilbert, look at the cute mouse. Gilbert, look here. Hmm. I know what we can play. Hold still. Daddy will take you for a nice ride. Here, take that corner. Gilbert! Ah! Gilbert and I are playing dress up. I'm the daddy. Caillou, dress up is a people game. A people game? You know how you don't like to play baby games? That's because you're not a baby, right? Yes. Well, Gilbert's a kitty cat, not a person. So he likes playing kitty cat games. Do you know what games he likes best? Yes. You like cat games, don't you, Gilbert? <coughs> Meow. Get it, Gilbert? Meow. We're kitty cats playing a game together. Meow. What nice kitty cats we have. Story time, kids.
This all happened when Caillou was just three years old. Today's story is called, Caillou is Afraid in the Dark. Good night, Caillou. Have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <gasps> Bed bugs. Oh. Mommy! Caillou, what's wrong? Bugs, Mommy. There, all gone. They were just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not afraid of monsters. <laughs> It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. Yes, but there was a flying monster and a scratchy monster. It's in my room. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou. was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. There won't be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou. Caillou. Oh, you're going to like this story. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Big Brother Caillou. It all happened back when Caillou was a very little boy, about two and a half years old. Baby sister coming, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. I'm going to the hospital today. Grandma will look after you. A few days later, Caillou was very excited because he was going to meet Rosie for the very first time. Mommy here, Daddy here. We're home. All three of us. Say hello to your new sister, Caillou. This is Rosie. Caillou wasn't sure if he liked Rosie. Oh, she's just beautiful. She's absolutely adorable. Isn't she gorgeous? She's my special girl. <laughs> Rosie wasn't very happy, and neither was Caillou. Nobody was paying attention to him. He thought they only cared about Rosie. Caillou was so unhappy, he didn't even like his doll anymore. Would you like to rock the baby, Caillou? No! Caillou didn't know if he liked Rosie very much. Okay. 
Maybe later. wasn't happy to see him pinching Rosie. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. It's not easy being a big brother, is it? But now that you are a big brother, you can protect Rosie since she's so small. Say, would you like to help me? I can't do this by myself. Caillou, would you pass me the diaper, please? So, you've been feeling a bit left out of things, too, have you, Gilbert? All changed? Yes, I helped Daddy. Would you like to hold her, Caillou? Yes, please, Mommy. Watch her head. <coughs> what is it, Caillou? Rosie smells good. Story time, kids. Here it is, silly. Caillou wasn't lost at all. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's All Alone. Whee! Mommy, Mommy, can I have some juice? Oh! Do you want to play with me, Mommy? Shh, Caillou, I'm busy. Fourteen, fifteen. Can I help you count? One, two, three, four. Caillou, this is very difficult. I can help you, I can help you. 16, 20, 1, 2, 3. Oh no, Caillou. Look what you've done. Caillou, I really need to be left alone right now. I'm too busy to play. Why don't you go find Daddy? Maybe he'll play with you. Caillou had really wanted his mommy to play with him. Wait a minute. Maybe Daddy could play with him. But Caillou didn't know his Daddy was very busy too. Is it broken? Not anymore. I fixed it. Oh, no! no! You look just like a snowman, Daddy. Look, I'm a snowman, too. Look, Daddy. Caillou, I have a lot of cleaning up to do, and I really need to do it alone. Why don't you go and find Grandma? Caillou was quite sure Grandma would like to hear all about his daddy's troubles with the washing machine. There's a good girl, Rosie. Close your eyes, dear. Hmm. I thought she'd never get to sleep. Ah, at last. Grandma, Grandma, look at me! <gasps> I'm a snowman! Shh! Caillou! Shh! Rosie's sleeping. Daddy was fixing the washing machine, and all these bubbles came out all over him. There were bubbles everywhere, Grandma. Shh! Caillou, please be quiet. You'll wake up Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie and I really need to be left alone. Why don't you go and play with Gilbert? Gilbert, you'll play with me, won't you? Oh! Maybe Mommy's finished counting. I'm sorry, Caillou. I just have to be on my own right now. Do you want to play with me? Yay! Caillou, come on down, honey. It's time for your snack. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he never even heard his Mommy calling. Caillou? <laughs> Are you all right? We were a bit worried about you being here all alone. What are you doing? Nothing. Just playing. <laughs> <laughs>